Hello my followers to the world of Sommelier. This is your guide, Corebreaker. Today I will talk about the second wines in the Bordeaux wine region. So what does that mean, you may ask? As you remember from my past videos, Bordeaux has the 1855 Gun Hu classification, so almost all of those historical estates have not just classified long-aging in Westworthy wine, but also the second wine which is made from different plots, uh, younger wines, less age in oak barrels. And from this, it is ready to drink sooner than his fancy brother, and it is usually cheaper. For example, Chateau Latour, top 5 Chateau in Medoc, 2010 vintage, according to winesearcher.com, costs from 800 euro. And second wine, Les Forts de Latour, 2010, starts from 200 euro. Still pricey but much more affordable. Another important thing is that first and second wines are produced by the same technical team, so the quality standards are at the same level. So tonight, on one side, I have Chateau Malicine Baton 2016 from Molly and Medo, and their second wine, L'Impression de Malicine Baton 2015. It is one of the three estates which belong to the Barton family, Another two are second growths Chateau Langlois Barton and uh, Chateau Leoville Barton. Hopefully, one day I will have an opportunity to try them also. Don't stop so, the history of the family dates back to 1722 when Thomas Barton left his uh, native island to settle in Bordeaux and founded a wine merchant company. 1826, grandson Hugh Barton bought 50 hectares of wines located in St. Julian Appellation, which later, in 1855, got its fame. In 2011, Barton Sartorius family acquired a new wine producing estate and its chateau, and it was rebaptized as Chateau Moessin Barton. I will write more about this estate and uh, Molly and Medoc Appellation in my Instagram. Everyone has a dry mouth once in a while. It happens when we're nervous, upset, or under stress. Let's get down to business. Let's get down, let's get down to business. And taste these wines. So, Lempison, uh, the Moessin Baton 2015, according to the winesearcher.com, costs around 15 euro, 1795 dollars. is made of 75% Melon, 20% Cabernet Sauvignon, and 5% Cabernet Franc. It comes from the young wines, and the berries remained in temperature controlled stainless steel vats for the fermentation and maceration phases. Then the wine is aged in French oak barrels for 12 months. The barrels used are mainly those which all they have received at least one wine. So tasting, it has a medium uh, intensity ruby color, medium plus intensity aromas of dark ripe plums, red currant, red cherry, dark chocolate and beef jerky. In the mouth, medium acidity, medium soft tannins, warming alcohol and berry and plums cocktail on the palate. Chateau Mauvaisin Baton 2016, according to TheWineSearcher.com, costs around 24 euro, 28.72 dollars, is made of 47% Merlot, 28% Cabernet Sauvignon, 18% Cabernet Franc, and 7% Petit Verdot. Young wines are picked by hand, aging uh, lasts from 12 to 15 months in French oak barrels, of which one third are new. Then casks uh, rest on a gravel bed to regulate humidity. So this have medium plus intensity purple color, medium intensity aromas of ripe black plums, blackcurrant jam, cinnamon, caramel, licorice, vanilla. In the mouth, medium plus acidity, medium plus alcohol, firm but young tannins, and on the palate, a blackberry pie, long aftertaste. Voila! Okay, so we have pizza pepperoni. Uh, here we have, maybe it's not gonna fall. Uh, with, some, uh, with some mozzarella, with some uh, tomato sauce. Uh, and I said, as I said, uh, homemade uh, dough. 
so the form is quite interesting. So I'm gonna take a bite of it. So hot. Try a sip. Wonderful. Even more flavor. Such an interesting combination. Like uh, I would never pick Bordeaux, Bordeaux red with a uh, with a pizza. But it's wonderful. I like it. Pizza there. Maybe even uh, L'Impression is a uh, is better choice, better combination, because it has uh, a bit more, a bit less alcohol. It has uh, a bit less alcohol. It's it's even more balanced the the food and the wine. If you like the video, please uh, push the like button. And uh, if you are looking for the seeing me again, uh, don't forget to subscribe and follow on Instagram. Cheers, guys.